let's cut straight to the chase. I'm not going to waste your time, you're not going to waste my time. Currently, in this country, there is an organization by the name of FORSA. FORSA states that it fights for the freedom of religion in South Africa. FORSA. However, it also states that it fights for Christendom freedom of religion. Currently, FORSA is fighting a battle of the Civil Union Act in the Constitutional Court. The Civil Union Act clearly states that it is not allowed to discriminate between age, race, sex, blah blah fill in the blank. Point number six, however, of the Civil Union Act states that a civil servant who is also a marriage officer, therefore a marriage officer that works for home affairs, is allowed to discriminate based on same-sex marriages, interracial marriages, fill in the blank, which is in complete opposition to the Marriage Act. The Marriage Act, however, caters for heterosexual couples only. So, Triangle Projects, with the help of COPE, has decided that, amend well, that point six of the Civil Union Act needs to be removed, as it is discriminatory, it is prejudiced, and it incites violence. FORSA has stated that point six of the Civil Union Act needs to stay in place as no one can absolutely allow people to choose between conscious of belief or their vocation in their career. Meaning they are choosing to rather f not face eternal damnation instead of losing their jobs, as per the Christian faith. I have nothing against the Christian faith. I do have something against the right of doing what you are paid to be do every day of the month. Therefore, if you are a civil servant, marriage officer, performing that duty, and you are being paid to perform that duty, you are marrying people irrespective of their sexuality, their race, their creed, and their religion. Forsa is saying, no, we cannot allow this. If a marriage officer is Christian, he should not be allowed or should not have to marry anyone that is not Christian. The problem, obviously, is that over 420 marriage officers have already said no, they won't marry anyone. This is your opportunity to fight for the civil rights, to fight for discrimination, to fight against prejudice, and to say, no, you are not going to accept this. You can send all of your objections with regards to this amendment to information that you can find in the description below. Everything will be there. Make your voice heard. You can make a difference. Let's make it together and save this country from going back to before 1996. Do it now.